All right, well, let's head now back out to Alex Spees. He's been really busy this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's out in Bon Terre alongside uh, photojournalist Larry Johnson. And you've seen some of the heaviest damage so far this morning, Alex. Running Michelle, good morning. This is the most impressive site that we've seen here in this uh, part of St. Francis County overnight. Honestly, we passed by this tree when it was dark and didn't see it until after daylight. We're near the intersection of Southwest Main and Cross this morning. You can see behind me a very large tree has fallen right next to a home here near this intersection. Now, as a family of five that lives here, they are the cousins of Josh Kalawaya. Josh, how are you, sir? Good to meet you. Good, Alex. How are you? Everybody okay? Everybody's fine. Uh, it happened about 10:45. Right. Uh, they ended up leaving here about 11:45 to go to some family. Right. In Festus, um, I came by to check and see the power situation, which is obviously not taken care of yet. Right. Yeah, their power is out, correct? Oh, it's out. Yeah. I th yeah. They might be the only ones out. You know, here. I think that. Well, they got it right across the street. I know, but. Uh, yeah. So well, what about that? What do they have facing them here? Obviously their garage has been destroyed, but the home itself seems relatively okay. Huh? It looks okay on the outside. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to see, you know, what comes of it as we move forward. Getting, getting this taken care of and getting the power back on is just the first step. All right. All right, Josh. Good deal. Thank you much, sir. Appreciate Thanks. it. I wish your cousins well. Thank you. Let me show you uh, the damage that this tree did. You can see what's left of the garage here. The garage is pretty much collapsed and a very heavily leaning over to one side there. But even further into the backyard, it's an impressive sight. I want to, first of all, I want to show you what it did to the, to the power lines. Now, we've since determined, uh, we think this is actually a cable line, not a power line. However, if you come across anything that looks like a power line, don't try to figure it out. Just leave it alone. But check out the root ball. Check out the root ball in the backyard. Uh, photojournalist Larry Johnson pointed out that's easily 25 feet in diameter. Now I have to say we've seen a lot of that this storm season for some reason, more so than I recall in years past where high winds didn't snap the tree trunk, they simply uprooted the whole tree and then pushed the whole thing over. That is a testimony to one of two things, either very strong winds or very weak roots. But that is the situation here in Bonterre this morning. Reporting live in the Storm Tracker, I'm Alex Fees. Thank you, Alex. Can you imagine leaving for a few hours?